What are the usual questions about OET? Let's find out. Good day. I am Keith Layden and I am the owner and CEO of OET Elite. I have been teaching OET for four years now since I have passed the examination with a scores of B, B, A, and A. That is B for listening, B for reading, A for writing, and A for speaking. Okay, now let's read the questions. These questions Nare receive namin sila no through our Facebook and Instagram page meron ding mga questions dito sa comment section ng ating YouTube channel no hindi lang naman tungkol sa packages or tungkol sa mentorship services yung nare receive namin na nare receive ko they also ask us some questions regarding the exam itself and I cannot resist so I cannot resist but to answer your question so here we go Okay. Sabi dito, no, pwede po bang malate? Okay, sabi niya dito, pwede po bang malate sa exam? Alright, lagi kong sasabihin, if it concerns your future, whether it be an interview, whether it be an appointment, you cannot be late. Ang mga elites ko, ang aking mga students, alam nila that they cannot be late for the examination kasi si OET, hindi yan mag adjust for you. Pag sinabi ni OET na ang call time ay 9am, you should be there earlier than 9am. Dahil marami pang pwedeng mangyari, marami pang mangyayari before the 9am. Okay? Alright ha? I hope I was able to answer that question. Okay. Meron ding tanong dito, sabi niya sa akin, nag-uulit po ba, nag-uulit po ba si OET ng questions nila? Okay, very interesting. Although this question is quite unclear, kung anong kung anong subtest ba ang tinutukoy, kung which subtest ba ang tinutukoy niya. Pero to answer your question, oo, naguulit, no? Kaya lang they make sure that of course, uh, the date or the year that it was given, no, is not going to be close to when it would be given again. For example, no, may 4 years na gap. O kaya naibigay yung examination 2018, pwede siyang maibigay ulit ngayon ngayong 2020. Okay? Eh, hindi pa natin alam kung anong buwan ng 2020 siya pwedeng maulit, ba? So, we cannot really predict. Pagdating naman sa mga case notes sa writing, hindi malabong hindi maulit kasi yan at yan lang din naman yung mga topics. Although, ang ginagawa ni OET, no, kung mag-uulit man sila ng case notes, nilalagyan nila no, ng isang uh, parang uh, twist, no, isang panggulo, or we cannot call it panggulo, isang twist. So, for example, when it was given before, wala pa namang COPD yung pasyente natin doon sa case notes. Pero this time, as it is repeated, meron ng COPD. Diba? So, it became no the trick no case no, doon sa ating case notes or the trick information doon sa ating case notes. Also, with regard the name, pinapalitan talaga nila yan. Pinapalitan talaga nila yan because the names are very easy to alter. Diba? Para daw hindi mo mahalata na yun na pala yung napagpraktisan mo na case notes before when you were still preparing for the exam. Diba? Okay. I hope I was able to answer that question as well. Okay. Sabi rin dito, may nagtanong. Sabi niya, Okay, isang major don'ts na may advice ninyo for writing. To be honest, I don't advise, I don't advise the don'ts. I advise the do's and then I tell my students to avoid the don'ts. That's the proper thing to say because we cannot really advise don'ts. Eh. Pero I think what this uh, what this nurse is asking for ay eh, yung big mistake na pwede niyang makumit no, sa kanyang writing subtest no, that could be detrimental or that could be lethal to the letter that she is making or to her scores. Okay, and uh, I have heard one of this, uh, one of the OET mentors online, sinagot niya yung ganitong tanong, same context, no, same context. Sabi niya, no, ang pinaka, pinaka lethal daw is that if the candidate does not finish the letter that she is making, that he or she is making, but I will... And I will say, no, marami akong mga estudyante na hindi naman natapos ang kanilang letter, but they have passed the examination. So, di ba, bongga? Okay, so if you were to ask me, no, ang pinaka-lethal 
no, na magagawa mo for the writing subtest is not spotting. Okay, not spotting the real primary focus of the case notes. Bakit naman? Isipin mo, hindi mo na spot, no? Kung ano yung kailangan ng pasyente mo, kung ano ba yung scenario na meron siya doon sa case notes, di ba? Purpose kasi, sabi doon, ano daw yung kailangan mo doon sa taong sinusulatan mo? Di ba? Will you be able to know kung anong kailangan mo doon sa taong sinusulatan mo kung hindi mo nga na spot yung primary focus sa case notes? Ano ang problema? Diba? Also, your content would suffer. Hindi mo alam kung anong pipiliin mo na, na relevant content from the case notes going to your letter. Yes, you can make a letter, pero ang tanong, yan ba yung pinapagawa ni OET? Yan ba yung gustong makita ng assessor? Diba? Kasi nagkamali ka na sa pagtingin eh. You were not able to spot the primary focus or the real diba? primary focus on the case notes. Okay, and of course, the organization could suffer as well. Since you were not able to select the proper content for your letter. Okay? Hindi mo alam kung paano ayusin ang iyong letter kasi mali pala yung mga content na napili mo. Minsan, nagsasuffer din si genre and style. Kunyari, ang pinapagawa ni OET pala sa'yo ay isang urgent na letter pero dahil hindi mo nga nalaman kung ano yung problema sa case notes natin, ang ginawa mo ay isang relapse letter, which is the opposite. Diba? That could be lethal. You can get some scores from the conciseness and clarity. You can also get some scores from the language criterion. However, no, uh, mal malaki na yung nawala sa'yo. Nawala na si purpose, nawala na si content, nawala na si conciseness and clarity, nawala pa si genre and style. No, so please, no, tingnan natin na maigay yung ating case notes. During my uh, writing lectures, lagi ko yan tinuturo, how to spot the primary focus. Also during my coaching sessions. Okay, next question tayo. Okay. Ah, may nagtanong dito tungkol sa, sa speaking examination. Alright, very interesting then. Okay, tama po ba na maghanda na ako ng scripts for the OET speaking? Sabi niya, scripts, bakit? May task card ka na ba? O may task card ka na ba for your exam date? Kasi kung meron na, go ahead. No, go ahead and prepare some scripts. Pero wala pa. Nobody knows eh. Diba? Kung ano ang lalabas sa ating examination na task card. Kung ano ang topic. Even the interlocutors. Because the task cards, although we say that it would be given ahead of the time, they can receive it only no, on the same date. Or on the same day that you will be taking your examination. So nobody knows. If you're gonna ask me, no, kung pwede kang maghanda ng template, eh wag na. Kasi uh, kapag mas naghanda ka ng template, mas lalo kang nagugulo. Baka mamaya yung naihanda mong template o yung script, hindi sumunod o hindi umayon doon sa senaryo na nandoon o lalabas sa iyong no, task card. So, very delikado yan. Ang lagi kong ina-advise sa aking mga elites no, is that they need to be flexible and they need to be responsive. When we say flexible and responsive, no, kasi doon sa ating speaking examination, you don't know kung ano ang maitatanong sa'yo ng pasyente. You don't know kung ano ang maitatanong sa'yo ng person na nasa room play, diba? But you need to respond in a proper manner. Yan ay natututunan during the coaching sessions. And, lagi kong ina-advise, no, very important sa speaking uh, sa speaking examination would be the confidence. Kapag nagpo-proctor ako sa ibang bansa, nakita ko ang isang kabayan, lagi kong sinasabihan, no, o kabayan, confidence, ha? Because we know that confidence goes a long way in the speaking no examination. Ayan na, confidence is the key. Okay, last question. Sabi, reading po ba? Ano magandang practice? May shortcut po ba dyan? Shortcuts for reading. Okay, wala. You really need to read no, to practice. That's how you practice. Is, it is really to read. And I advise my students to to really, no, to really practice. Kasi ako aminado ako, I give out tips and tricks. Kaya lang, no, sabi ko sa kanila, sa aking mga elites, although nagbibigay ako ng tips and tricks, kung hindi ka naman magpa-practice, you wouldn't know when to use it and how to use it for your examination in reading. Okay? Meron akong isang student, no, after niyang mag-exam for listening, reading, and writing, kinontact niya ako. No, he, he sent me a message. Sabi niya, Miss Kate, yung lumabas nung final coaching natin, yun din yung lumabas sa exam date ko. No, diba? So, it really pays to enroll in a good review center under the mentorship of someone na tututukan ka. No, depende sa needs mo. 
Alright, let me show you the feedback of that student or the chat of that student. That ends our first video. Kahit maiksi lang ito, I hope that you were able to learn a lot and I hope that I was able to help yung mga co-nurses ko who are planning to take the OET. Promise, gagawa ako ng another video na sasagot ng mga questions. So, comment down below. Comment on our Facebook and Instagram pages, OET Elite. Malay ninyo yung isang comment ninyo, yung tanong doon, yun ang sagutin ko sa susunod kong video or sa susunod kong vlog. Hit on the subscribe button para updated ka sa mga videos namin. Thank you for watching. Cheers!